Hello, my name is Emily Woodruff. And I'm Stephanie Lewis. And we're best friends. And this is a little talk show. And I have a few questions for Stephanie. So here we go. Steph, if you did not play softball, what sport would you play? Soccer. I heard she was a real stud back in her days. I wasn't. That's why I tore my ACL doing it. <laughs> All right, here's the next question. What is the best piece of advice you've gotten from any of your Jacksonville State coaches? Ooh, best piece of advice. Ooh. Um, that no matter what in life happens, being a good person, I would say that's the number one rule of life, is being a good person and, um, yeah, I'd say being a good person, making the right choices. Yes, definitely. Who's your funniest teammate? Funniest teammate? Well, I'm going to say you, number one, because I know you so well, <laughs> and that would funny. be a good answer. Um, I need his teammate. I'd say... I would say uh, uh, Caitlin Sapp. Yeah. She's pretty... She's undercover funny, so... Um, which makes it even more funny. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to answer this one for Steph. I'm supposed to ask her who's the best singer. It's definitely her. I'm not the best singer. I don't know why you think that. <laughs> Nobody's ever heard me sing, so I don't know why people say that. All right, who on your team is the most likely to be famous one day? Huh. Most likely to be famous. I'm trying to think of the things that people want to do in the future. Probably Chiz. I would say Anna Chisholm. She wants to be a sniper, so I don't know if you can be famous <laughs> for that. And she, so I don't, I don't know. She wants to be an assassin, so I would say Anna Chisholm. She's a rock star. All right, Steph. Do you have any superstitions that you have to do before a game or in at bat? Um, not really. I'm not very superstitious. I listen to music, you know. With wait, my wait, wait, wait. What kind of music do you listen to? Let's tell everybody. I listen to hardcore, just rock music. <laughs> um, people make fun of me for that, but, you know, teach their own. You can always hear it through your headphones. It's pretty loud. Yeah, I wear the big, like, wireless beats on my head, so... Um, other than that, I don't think there's much of anything else that I do in particular. All right, here's a good question. Describe me in three words. Oh, I got this. Loving. Oh. Um, selfless. Let's see. I don't know much. I don't know much more than that. I'm just kidding. Uh, loving, selfless, and um, I just want to make a huge sentence out of it. Loving, selfless. Caring and loving are the same thing. Um, loving, selfless. Oh, do you describe yourself? Her best friend. I have nothing. Friend, I, have nothing. Like. <laughs> um, I promise I love you. Like, I, I think, think you're really cool. You. All right. Let's get me put on the spot. To the next one. All right. This is the last question for you. It may make me cry a little bit. What will you miss most about Jacksonville State softball when you're finished? Emily. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I'm just going to miss being a part of a team. Um, Especially the last two years, I've been part of a team that I just love so much. Um, I really do consider them my family, and I know that's such a cliche answer, especially you know sports and stuff. But um, I really think just Jacksonville State as a university is as great as a whole of just being um, one family and really caring for one one another as a person. Um, so I'm going to miss them, uh, my coaches, of course, just because. Um, I feel like I'm not a person that really expresses my feelings a lot, but I hope they know how much I cherish them and um, our relationships. Um, but, yeah. I'm going to miss the game, but, you know, this was my dream. So my dream has come almost to an end. Let's um, not talk so, about it. Let's so I'm going to live it up, it. and we're going to do well this week. Um, and then hopefully add another week on and another week, and then see where that takes me. So I don't know what I'm going to do when she leaves, but I am proud of her. And I want you to know that. I love you, buddy. Well, I'm proud of you. All right, we're signing off. Thank signing you for off. listening. Thanks for joining. <laughs>